guys, this is a little different, but I ran a poll on Twitter um, asking if you guys wanted to see an unboxing of a recent statue I got, and you guys said yeah. So here that is. Also, I'm sorry about <laughs> my throat. I just got back from work and I'm a little dehydrated, but it's fine. I caught this off of eBay, and you know, that's sometimes well, for the most part, it's pretty sketchy. <laughs> um, but let's hope it's legit and they actually like sent the right thing, you know? Um, this is weird. Okay. Uh, the statue is a Sonic statue. Surprise, surprise. I'm sure. Or it's supposed to be a Sonic statue. I'm sure none of you are surprised by that. And it looks like it is not a scam. Well, hopefully. It might be fake. If it's fake, honestly, I won't really care if I'm being completely honest. But, okay. Here's the statue. It's supposed to look like that. I really like the artwork of this box. If I was like a crazy collector that kept all the boxes and stuff, I would probably keep this. Um, it looks authentic. It could be fake, I don't know. I mean, from what I've seen, there's only really fake versions of the 25th anniversary version of this statue. Because as you can tell, it's a version three. Meaning that there are multiple versions of the statue. I know there's this version, obviously, and then like I said, the 25th anniversary version. And I'm not exactly sure what the third one is. The only difference I know of this one and the 25th anniversary one, I was tempted to get the anniversary one, not gonna lie, is just the bottom is different and instead of this emblem, it says 25th anniversary. There's my cat. <laughs> Come on, can you get out of the way? Kitty just has to say hi. Let's open this up. And from my, what I've seen too, like, the fakes um, are pretty good, like quality. And I didn't pay too much for this, and it, the company said they had multiple in stock, so that's why I was a little uneasy of it. Come on, stop! <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Let's see. Ooh. Moment of truth! Oh, <laughs> I can see the top of his head. Look at the top of his head. Good sir, this is so sick. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm letting my inner fangirl <laughs> come out. Oh my god. By the looks of it, it's authentic because um, in the video that I did see, uh, compare it was a video comparing this version, but it was the anniversary version. Um, it just had a lot worse of a paint job. And this one seems to be pretty good. I'm hyped, guys. What? Is, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. Why is this? I should probably open it like this, huh? Okay. Oh, it looks so nice. Oh my, oh, it's so like. It's like such a good weight. Oh my God. I'll put some B-roll in here, but this is so nice looking. You can definitely see some of the seams on his head, but I knew that going into purchasing this, but it, it's like, it's such a nice weight. It's so high quality. This is a Japanese exclusive. Sega has these things called joy -polis. It's basically like everything Sega but there's a lot of Sonic merch that they have and they held events and stuff and this is available there if you were to buy it or win it through anything really. But this is such a nice quality statue. It's seven inches tall. Uh, I'll put that on screen. How many centimeters that is for people that don't use metric because metric is stupid. Here, I'll put it next to some of my other statues I have just for like comparison. Okay, so here's three of um, here's all of my Sonic statues I have right now, 
next to each other. Um, so the one on the very right is one of the first Diamond Select figures or statues, whatever you want to call them, that they produced and they were exclusive at GameStops, but I just got mine repurchased off of eBay because <laughs> I wasn't as okay with being a Sonic fan when they were available. Um, and then on the very left, next to the new dude, we have the Deluxe Cable Guys Sonic figure, and I got that like a week ago. Pretty much similar height-wise, uh, classic Sonic here is just a tiny bit taller. Between the two modern Sonics I have here, it seems like their color scheme is the exact same, so it's really cool to see consistency. I just think that yeah, from the looks of it, the blues are the same, but the Diamond Select one, his tan tones seem to be a lot more yellowy, especially on his stomach right here. With the Joy Polis figure, the premium figure, it seems more of his actual like tan color. This is such a nice looking statue. I honestly wasn't expecting it to be so like heavy duty feeling because with Diamond Select on this one, it's really light. Like you don't expect it to be that light, but it's still like obviously sturdy. They have his proportions just so well done in this statue. They do with the other ones too, but just like, I've always really liked Lanky or Sonic, not like, you know, like Sonic 06 Lanky, but his legs just look so nice and just dynamic in this pose. And you know, it's the classic pointy pose. So I can like, not love it. There are, of course, like with any figure, there are some mispaints here and there, like around the, I guess you call them laces, you know, where the buckles are by his shoes. On the bottom here, we have copyright for Sega, made in China. I don't know if that makes it fake. If it does, whatever, I still like this. But yeah, overall, this is like super good quality. I'm really, really glad with this purchase and this is only like 40 bucks and I've seen other statues going for way more. <laughs> Let me put him with the rest of like my Sonic area and I'll show you guys. All right, so I know the lighting is a lot different over here, I just, my light can't reach this far that I was using, but um, I showed this on Twitter and stuff, but this is like my Sonic collection so far. Uh, this is just the back of what this guy came in. I just cut out pieces of the box, but no, this dude fits in super well. I'm so incredibly happy with this purchase. He's just like so clean looking like, oh my goodness, uh, my Sonic fangirl heart. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I know I don't really upload on YouTube, but let me know if that would be more interesting. I'd probably make like, you know, like art content and stuff. Maybe some Sonic stuff here and there. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Do whatever you want, subscribe, like, I don't care. But I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you for dealing with my crazy Sonic uh, <laughs> fucking obsession. But, um, and uh, yeah, I thank you for watching, and I hope maybe I'll see you later. Who knows if I'll make a YouTube video or not, but yeah. Bye, guys.